Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we are going to be going over some Scarlet and Violet rumors in regards to the second trailer that we got last week. We did cover that on the channel. If you want to go back and check out that trailer, be my guest. But we're going to talk about some things in that trailer and some other things that are pretty interesting that are going around at the minute. I put a poll up on the channel, the community section of the channel, a couple of weeks ago asking if this sort of content was something you'd like to see going forward in the run-up to Scarlet and Violet's release in November. And the majority of you did say you would be interested in this. So we're going to try and make this a regular thing on the channel. Let me know down in the comment section if there are particular things you would like to see me covered, if you've heard rumors yourself. Obviously, if there are official leaks, we'll cover those as well and any news that does drop in between. But to keep us going, keep that hype building up in the run-up to Scarlet and Violet dropping, we'll be covering a lot of these things because they not only just interest me, I think they interest a lot of you as well. So I hope I'm not too far off the mark with that. So getting into our first kind of stuff that we want to talk about today, I'm going to hop over to Twitter and we're going to have a look at Soul Silver's account. Just put up a tweet earlier on today in regards to some theories they got. I think Legendary will be our only ride Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet region. Therefore, it makes perfect sense to me that they'd be introduced to us in the early parts of the game. And why not by the profs if this is the case? So the, the theory is from Soul Silver is that the, the professors are kind of like the villains of the, the, the whole story, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, so you can see there's a few kind of pointers here on these kind of rumors here. But the one that we're, we're kind of looking at here is the box legendaries are used as vehicles from the start of the game belonging to the professor. Now this is kind of interesting because this isn't something that we'd normally be used to in a Pokemon game. We'd normally get the legendaries at the very end of the game before the kind of the game and the credits roll. But in these games they're suggesting that the professors because of the situation where the game's kind of located which ties into some other theories uh, that will get introduced to the legends early on. Now this it's kind of interesting though if we get the legends early on obviously we're not going to be able to battle with them it would make the games way easier and this is something that's discussed in the thread if you go down here you can see uh, perhaps a classic journey around the world to help the legendaries gain back its special power thing like zygarde or nebi say we travel and ride around the region on the legendaries pre-evo 10 percent form something more like a bike visiting various power spots i think it'd be pretty interesting if we did get introduced to them early on it would make sense to the theories around the story about the professors actually being the villains of this story and then we get introduced to the legends but we aren't able to battle with them until a later checkpoint in the story i think it's a pretty interesting theory i do get behind it and i could see it definitely happening this kind of ties into the theory that was put up by kayla she put up a brilliant video about the kind of quantum crystals um and on what the kind of end scene was at the end of the last week's trailer where we saw this kind of motion at the end of the trailer which looks like it's a, a Pokeball spinning in a kind of circular motion inside what looks like a crystal. Now, Kayla uh, has a brilliant theory. I'd recommend going across and watching the video. I'll link it in the description and you can get an idea of where she kind of summarizes her points to get to this end point. But if the Scarlet and Violet region is trapped within the Quantum Crystal or the legendaries are trapped within the Quantum Crystal, maybe the two professors have something to do with it and why we would get introduced to them early on in the games. It's interesting that we get the legendaries introduced so early on in the kind of the, the drops that we're having in the lead up to this these games. Generally, the legendaries aren't dropped for a, a little bit further down the line. I could be wrong on that, but I feel like it's not something that we'd get before or maybe you know your common bird type Pokemon of the region that we'd normally get like your Pika Peck or Pidgey or Pidov or you know all those other ones they're getting dropped pretty early it builds a hype up but it would make sense in this kind of scenario that this is why we're getting introduced to them because they're going to be part of the early story but who knows anyway it's pretty interesting something as well to kind of ponder on would love to hear your thoughts on it down below as well uh, this is another kind of interesting kind of pickup about the box art legendaries as well so this is from tyron this has been something else that's been picked up on uh, if you can have a look at the box arts here for scarlet and violet covers you can see that the legendaries are actually facing away from each other so one facing into the past and one facing into the future 
theoretically. So uh, there is a, a lot based around time travel. Uh, if you look at all of the other generations with legendaries on the cover, every single one of them faces each other except gold and silver. And we'll touch on this in a different video, but there is a very, uh, there is a lot of ties to gold and silver, I feel, within these games. So as I say, we'll touch on that at a later stage. But Ho or Lugia are the only ones, as you can see, on this kind of art here where the legendaries aren't facing each other. You've got uh, Groudon Kyogre facing each other, the Algapalkia, uh, Hulk also Silver, ho or Lugia actually facing each other here. And then you've got Black and White, Zekrom, Reshiram. Uh, pretty much all of them face each other except Sword and Shield. So whether there's tie-ins to Sword and Shield, to Hulk also Silver, the Galar region, Johto, it's another video for another time, but it's pretty interesting to see that this is the box art going into Scarlet and Violet as well, where both legendaries are facing away from each other. If I take my cam off, you can get a better look at it, but it is interesting. And I think something to kind of keep in mind for the whole Kayla theory with the quantum crystal, the professor theory about them being the villains and then getting introduced to these legendaries potentially in the storyline pretty early on and then being your ride on Pokemon to take you to fly, to uh, ride around on the oceans, to climb up walls and all that sort of thing. So pretty interesting stuff. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are on it down below. Um, the next thing that we were kind of looking at was uh, Riddler Coup. Obviously, Riddler Coup puts out a bunch of information and is pretty reliable with all this stuff. And most of the things that Riddler Coup drops kind of come to fruition. So pretty reliable uh, leaker or source. Um, so this is the last thing that Riddler Coup put out. Uh, guys, exciting poll time. You can choose one. Looking forward to your prudent selection going to be the motif for June. I think the scheduled motif should be new Pokemon. Um, and so there is more info about the starters. So the poll was um, pretty much that. That's what won. Uh, then you've got the, the Gen 9 object Mon, which is still unknown. You've got the uh, a riveting new RF regional form potentially i don't think it's regional form um and that is kind of pointing to this diglet and then you've got gen 9 wafumon which is not uh lechonk it's not lechonk's evolution that's kind of already been put out there so we'll have another uh waifu kind of generation 9 pokemon as well uh the riveting new rf regional something because the the form i think what the f stands for is not correct so regional form would be my first guess but we're still kind of guessing around that but you can see this diglet this is fan art here but ku came out and said it was pretty much nailed on even though it is fan art it is pretty much nailed on and um, so there is this scene as well from the trailer where we saw basically just this kind of this cloud it was like an underground pokemon at the time it's a very small snippet of the trailer but we didn't actually get to see what the pokemon was now this is theory to be potentially a diglet uh, and the new regional form of diglet being a ground and water type which is being rumored to be something that is going to be in scarlet and violet so this will be interesting again if it is i kind of like the design of this this diglet looks really cool to be honest and um, so if we did get a regional form of, of dig let's say and it was a water ground type it would be i'd be super happy with it but um the design for a fan art design is pretty cool so whoever did it was um, massive props to them let me know what your thoughts are on it though do you would you be disappointed if it was a diglet if it was original form or do you have your own theories about what this pokemon is uh, that we see in the trailer and kind of tease there now the other thing to mention in soul silver's kind of theory is another Pokemon that was revealed in the trailers last week and that was small of one of my favorite new reveals of that trailer um, and the, the the kind of theory is it's small of has two different evolutionary lines uh, depending on the gender so uh, male stay grass normal and then the female becomes a fire grass type which would be a brand new typing for the Pokemon universe we've never had a grass and fire typing so it'd be a really nice Pokemon to see a typing to get as well and that's kind of backed up by a lot of different sources about this being a theory about what Smolov could evolve into there's a really good thread here on reddit one of the users over there could Smolov evolve into the first fire grass type Pokemon and they delve into the information about how all of 
oil is kind of flammable and then how that could be you know used with the, the heat of the region to create some sort of fire typing with its grass type and i think it makes sense i think it's a great theory again i'll link this down in the description if you want to take a deeper look at this theory and let me know your opinions I would be down for a fire grass Smolov. Smolov looks a great Pokemon anyway. It's got cool typing already with that grass and normal typing. It's unique. So having that extra additional bit of unique typing on top of it with its evolution would be super exciting. So that's the other theory that we were uh, kind of looking at today and one of the main ones as well. And I really would hope to see that kind of come to happen. Obviously, there's a few more things on this Riddler coup poll that we still haven't got information on um as soon as we do get them uh I'll, I'll put them out on a video and we'll kind of cover them and i'll give you my thoughts on them going back to the 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 start of pokemon though it's being kind of dropped and rumored hinted at and i would say it's pretty reliable this is probably what the starter evolution typings are going to be but we're going to get the grass dark sprigatito as the final evolution supposedly going to be on two legs as well who knows could it be the Incineroar meme that we're all hoping it's not, but who knows, but Grass Dark is supposedly the, the final typing. Then we're gonna have Fire Ghost, and then one of my favorite typings for uh, Quaxley's final evolution is going to be Water Fighting. So you kind of get that full circle with the, the Dark, the Ghost, and the Fighting. It's pretty nice, interesting. I like the typings for the, 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 the final starters. I think it's different from what we've had before, and I think that's something that pretty much everyone's kind of hoping for. Um, um, so that is pretty much everything that I was going to talk about today. We covered Kayla's uh, video was one of the, the last points that I was going to touch upon. Just to make sure if you are interested in, in these theories, these rumors as well, go check out Kayla's video about the, the quantum crystals. I think it's a really good theory. It ties in pretty nicely with what you're going to see at the end of that trailer there with that kind of animation. It was just a, a couple of seconds sneak peek of the Pokeball in what looks like a crystal situation. Um, and yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. She's got a couple of other theories about the symbols around the, um, the, the, the logos that we've got now as well. So lots of information and stuff that we'll cover in other other videos but wanted to kind of keep this one a little bit short today so hope you've enjoyed it friends and this will be the start anything that we do get i'll try and keep on top of we'll cover everything but if there are things that i haven't covered and there are like things that you've seen that you would like me to talk about discuss and have a bit of a deeper dive into let me know in the comment section i would love to hear about them and talk about them i am so excited for scarlet and violet so all this stuff is really interesting whether it turns out to be true or not it's kind of nice to theorize about them and it kind of builds the hype up that little bit more so like i say we'll cover all of this in the run-up to it and we'll definitely cover all of the actual confirm things obviously nothing that we've talked about in today's video has been officially confirmed it's all rumor at the minute so until it is confirmed uh we'll leave it as is so friends thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in the next video so until then take care bye bye